to uh, COVID, the publishing and book industry in the country had to struggle with a halt in sales when the nationwide lockdown was announced. But uh, here's how some iconic bookstores in Bangalore are turning the page. They say you can't buy happiness, but you can buy books, and that is the kind of the same thing. When the world was in a lockdown and when a pandemic hit our lives, the book lovers were doubly sad because they couldn't really go to their favorite bookstores. But now with the easing of the restrictions and with the world opening up, this is the story of how some independent bookstores in Bangalore city are facing some challenges, yet braving through the pandemic and keeping up with sales. Let's take a look. Blossoms, the iconic bookstore in Bangalore's Church Street area, shut for two months in the pandemic, now fully operational. I'm coming to a bookstore after almost 11 months. I'm preparing for a competitive exams now. There's a kind of belongingness that you feel when you're in a bookstore, especially if you're a... a if you're an avid reader, it, it has a good impact on you. Online, we do get books, but no matter what discount or what you get there, uh, I mean, uh, the satisfaction of coming here is much more and it has a feel to it. I came to a bookstore after a year, almost a year, or more than that, and uh, it feels good because we have the book, the book itself in our hand and then we can read and you know we love the smell of the pages so it's quite interesting comparative to the ebook I mean, it's, it's wonderful being here it's wonderful being among books it's wonderful even if you don't buy books it's, it's wonderful look at titles look at books look at uh, things which matter to you for my Gora, the owner of the iconic bookstore shutting shop for two months wasn't easy then we put up uh, instagram uh, post uh, the, the for some time we were opening, like uh, they allowed for uh, mm. four to five hours. Mm. Then uh, we opened mm. for that time, and we used to get a lot of uh, WhatsApp messages. Mm. Then we used to send the books through Porter or uh, Dunso. Okay. It, it was very good, overwhelming. We were throughout the day we were busy sending okay. books, and we were getting around 200 to 300. Earlier we used to get 400 to 500 people. Uh, January and December, December and January was uh, good. Mm. This month is a bit slow. Mm. Yeah, around 75 percent we are doing. Around uh, three to four lakh books are there. Just two buildings away lies another iconic bookstore of 20 years, The Bookworm, that has promised good books at great prices for generations. After lockdown, so only small uh, hours, it means um, two or three hours we are open the shop. So whatever we'll get order, we can send through in uh, Dunzo and uh, Swiggy. In the lockdown time, so we, uh, we'll, we got a lot of problem because of uh, uh, rent, salary and current bill is extra they will mm. they will send everything no so we got a lot of problem in that now it's better now. if you asked a book lover what they missed the most during the lockdown months it would certainly be looking at some of their favorite books but what really helped bookstores at least in bangalore was e-commerce that's right many bookstores in bangalore took to dunzo whatsapp swiggy and even post to keep up with sale. That's right, they took to speed post to be able to sell books to people outside of the city in faraway districts in Karnataka. With camera person Kumar in Bangalore, Shanakshi Chakravarti for NDTV.